Welcome back to this Let's Play of The Last Remnant. Last time we finished with all of our guild tasks to gain guild ranks so that we can get more guild tasks and, well, you know, do stuff. Mostly that's important for uh, the magazines, because without the magazines you can't get the uh, things that your companions are asking for for their upgrades. There's also a couple of things they've started to ask for, including jewel steel and world tree timber and stuff like that, and we're going to head into the dungeon where those things are found. Before we go, though, um, there's a slight... It, it, this is actually wrong on the wiki. It says that you cannot build this particular item until you have one of every component. Well, I'm, I know I'm missing a lot of components. Obviously I am, because I can't build all sorts of, this, of accessories that are on my create list here. But the Ragnarok is a <coughs> bad pun. Um, it's also one of the best accessories in the game, though it's kind of subtle in what it does. Impressive, huh? Specifically, it m increases growth on everything by plus two. And exactly what that means, if that means things grow three times as fast, I don't know. But it should help Rush get to Ninja a little faster, and it also has a couple other nice little benefits. The unknown bonus is, I believe it's 30% damage bonus against essentially all of the super bosses of the game. So, if it's really hard, the Ragnarok gives a bonus against it, which I guess you can't sneeze at that. And it's also, the, I believe, the only item in the game that gives immunity to Enthrall, which we're going to need for one of the bosses that's coming up. Because we're headed into the Ancient Ruins, which is, well, I don't know, the uh, hardest part of the game? Probably not. I, I think Demigod, which is the boss at the bottom, is probably going to be the hardest fight in the game for me, because, well, I won't be as prepared as I am for some of the late game stuff, but to get to the Ancient Ruins, you need to go through the second path. And if you didn't do the Quest of the Fallen, you can just skip this entirely. You cannot get into this area. And this is another one of those just weird design decisions. On the Xbox 360 versions, version, the uh, Ancient Ruins was a DLC item, and so you could just download it and, and you know, get to it. I don't know what was in that corner of the map to uh, the installation of the DLC, but, you know, hey. The um, PC version gives you the key to this area as a uh, drop from the Fallen. Well, the Fallen is a very easy quest to miss, because it's only available for a very short time in the story. Um, it's a, very, a quest you could very easily just give up on. Um, I, gr I did a lot of grinding and preparation specifically for that quest, and uh, you know, managed to uh, make it happen. But uh, you, I would not be surprised if many people just said, forget this. I mean, I, they get to round 10 and they're like, well, I've just barely been surviving, much less trying to win by round 10. Yeah. But uh, unless you do the fawn, you can't get into this area, and if you can't get into this area, you cannot get the endgame weapons for anybody. All of them require either Rhea's Notes or Jewel Steel or um, World Tree Timber or Pangu's Bones. I think there's actually a couple other ways to get Rhea's Notes, but um, all of the remnants you know, the Impressive, remnant weapons huh? like Night Bloom and Obsidian require both Jewel Steel and Rhea's Notes. So, without Rhea's Note, you're pretty much screwed. There, without Jewel Steel, you're pretty much screwed. And Jewel Steel, pretty much... There are a couple other ways you could get it. Uh, you can disassemble a couple of the rarer weapons for it. But So maybe you could make those upgrades. But uh, World Tree Timber and Pangu's Bones and such are from here only. So, Stone of the Imperator is the drop item that is the key here. I don't know that it, that really matters, but that's what it is. And the Ancient Ruins is a... Well, it's a kind of an unusual part of the game. Like a couple of the story areas we've visited, there is no map. There's no mini-map either. It's, you know, it says you don't have the map for this area, but there is no map. Um, this is one of those things where playing in windowed mode is highly recommended, because then you can have the map, which there are several available. Um, you can have a map available in, sort of in another window, which is what I have, of course. But uh, 
there's some garbage treasure here, and there's also some very useful treasure. But the most important treasures to pick up on each floor are the keys to the next floor. I just want to show one of these fights, just for the sake of variety. They're not real hard. Uh, these guys aren't. Um, there's only one enemy here that I would call qualify as real hard, um, and we'll run into them soon enough. I, I think the first one I fight will probably be like an episode under the sun. But these guys are not all that different from the uh, ones that the same monster type exists out in the second half. For example. What's different about them is that they are considered, I don't know, higher level or something, but you will always get stacked when you fight against those. You know, pretty much regardless of your battle. And that means if you want to grind, this is the place to, This is really the only place to do it. After a certain point. Because even fighting you know, Bernhilders on Mount Back, you won't get anywhere near as good stack buff as you do from just fighting random groups of amoebas here in the ancient ruins. It also helps that they drop all sorts of useful stuff that companions you want, and sometimes you can work money, but we're mostly just stuff for companions for And they're not real hard. I actually made the mistake of uh, coming in here with Mystic Seal Formation, and uh, well, um, the problem with these particular guys is they have Cavalry Call, which means they can summon additional copies of themselves, and uh, fighting enemies with Cavalry Call in Mystic Seal Formation leads to some very, very long Sweet. fights. Oh, I know As you I'm can good. see, my stats I are just going through the roof. Well, I mean, not through the roof, but they are very much going up. Now, that World Tree Timber is very raw. It's not new, but World Tree Timber you can only get here. They're actually pretty much the only good place to, to grind for World Tree Timber. There are a couple other enemies around here that drop it, but not very many. And I hope I don't get lost, frankly. Because um, one of the, the quirks to um, not having a mini-map, even if you do have a map uh, is sort of open in another window, you got to know where you are on the map. And if you don't know where you are on the map, things get lost. There's one other item I came here specifically to get, and that's one just a replacement weapon for one of my companions, but that's not for a couple of floors. That Grammy key there is the key to the next tier. The um, Ancient Ruins is split up into three tiers. We're on the Apex tier now. Uh, well, there's technically a fourth tier, but all it is is a boss fight. This tier is only one area. The second, the next two tiers are essentially uh, two areas total. Well, four areas total, because there are two areas of two each. These wyverns here, I can't remember what they drop. I'm gonna try to try fighting some of them. I'm trying to trying to fight only one of them and uh, Let's do this. Oh, yeah, I succeeded. And again, I actually, if you if you've been grinding Vise, you've seen a lot of Diatrima. I don't know if I've actually fought any of them on screen yet, but these ones are. I mean, they're more powerful than the, the versions you're going to run into in Crookfen, but they're not. It's As you can see, you know, 5,000 damage. I mean, they probably have about 10,000. Which, you know, isn't laughable. But, you know, we can do 10,000 damage in the round with just one union, so not a big problem. One thing I do want to be careful about in this area is it's very easy to actually run out of healing supplies. You know, all the vivification or hearts horn and such, they use supplies. Well, let's just say that a lot of my characters are going to die in this area. Just, I'm going to be raising minions like right and left. Um, I 
guess this uh, group here is going to be uh, the uh, lucky winners of being first, but they will not be the last. Hopefully the only ones for this one. One thing that you can do, which... Well, there are a couple things you can do to try and avoid that. One of the things to do is, if you have characters with both uh, Vivification Herb and Vivification Tincture, you can have them use one or the other, rather than... Most people will sort of by default use Vivification Herb. Um, and if you change that so that they can't use Vivification Herb and have to go directly to Tincture, they're drawing from different supplies. Heartstorm is also drawing from the supply. The ideal, though, is to have people with um, Kiss of Life, which is, um, is one of the higher level random arts. I don't know how many people have it at this point. It's the problem with it is it costs 140 AP, but we're going to be making heavy use of that for the last boss fight. Diatrima and our battle rank goes up there. Yeah, no my battle rank is going to start to go through. Excellent. Uh, Did everyone see what just happened? Over Yay! 60 by the time I complete I this feel dungeon. Like grown. At least. Hmm. I got none of the useful drops. Oh well. The captured monsters here are worth money, obviously. And obviously we're getting stack growth like there's no tomorrow, which is really useful. I'm going to fight this second wyvern off-screen, so I'll be right back. Alright. If you want to try and fight both of those groups of wyverns at once... Hmm. I tried that once. I mean, I won. But, uh, let's just say I used a lot of supplies. And I may be a lot less wary about avoiding monsters here. In fact, I may actually go out of my way to clear monsters. Just because, well, they, uh, aren't, um, they aren't a bad idea to fight here, because, well, let's do this. here, I'm getting good stack growth on the characters I care about. So, well, I'm not going to show the rest of this fight on screen, but, uh, I think I'll probably end this episode here. I'm going to kill off these two sets of Diatrima, and then I'll... When we come back, next time, we'll fight the boss, such as he is. See you then!